What's up, Wolfpack? Back at again. Today, I'm going to be covering more into the whole Skinwalker Ranch thing. This is not a part two of my part one video. This is just something that I found online through an article through Politico that I think was interesting. And it's going to be a lot of information. Some of you guys are not, you know, up to date on the whole UFOs and the government and everything like that. But, but for those that are, you know, I'm going to kind of go over what I found. Like I said, take this with a grain of salt, put on your tinfoil hats, and let's go. So I'm not going to read the entire article, but I will show you in the video so you can pause and read it if you like. I'm not going to kind of skim over some of it and how it ties into Skinwalker Ranch, which I found to be extremely interesting. So without further ado, the Pentagon has disclosed that the government once considered a program to recover and reverse engineer any captured alien spacecraft, an effort that never came to fruition but fueled conspiracy theories about a cover-up. The Defense Department on Friday released a public version of a congressional ordered comprehensive review of the classified U.S. government program since 1945 that debunked decades of speculations about UFOs, saying it found no evidence of extraterrestrial activity or efforts to withhold information from Congress. Aero uh, investigators discovered that the existence of Kona Blue, which you can look into that, there's a whole thing about it, um, after interviewees claimed it was a DHS program to cover up the retrieval and exploitation of non-human biologics, according to the report. Non-human biologics, what does that mean? They can't outright say aliens. So, it's biologics from somewhere, not of this planet. And that's kind of a little bit of what David Grush was talking about, who, if you guys aren't aware of, I'll, I'll cover a video about him later. Um, but we'll, I'll keep going here. Uh, it arose out of an effort by former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid to establish a defense intelligence agency program to investigate foreign advanced aerospace threats, the report states. The Advanced Aerospace Weapons System Application Program, which was established in 2009, was funded through a special appropriation and executed, executed by an unnamed private sector organization, the report states. The report did not name the organization, but DIA uh, documents show it was a space technology company, Bigelow Aerospace, the company founded by aerospace titan and hotel chain founder Bob Bigelow, a friend of Reed. Now, if you guys remember, Bob Bigelow was once the owner of Skinwalker Ranch before Brandon Fugel, who's now the current owner of Skinwalker Ranch, Bob was uh, given a substantial amount of money by the government to look into Skinwalker Ranch and all of its activities that was going on. A little coincidental. The official purpose of the aerospace weapons program was to research 12 areas of cutting edge science, such as advanced lift and signature reduction, but the team also investigated an alleged hotspot of UAP and paranormal activity at a property in Utah, Skinwalker Ranch, which at the time was owned by the head of the mysterious private sector organization, according to the report. The research included examining reports of shadow figures and creatures, as well as plans to hire uh, physics to study interdimensional phenomena believed to appear at the site at Skinwalker Ranch. They didn't want to state it. That's what that place is called, at Skinwalker Ranch, who is now owned by Brandon Fugel. Brandon Fugel bought the ranch, okay? To He was actually a disbeliever in all of that. He wanted to prove that there was nothing going on until he actually saw evidence that there was something going on. He even covered Skinwalker Ranch to, hmm, who? Sean Kirkpatrick, who is in this article, in the political article that you will, um, that I'm skimming through here. Sean Kirkpatrick is uh, currently the head of Arrow. And Sean Kirkpatrick made a statement previously stating that he has never once met Brandon Fugel. But he did. And Brandon Fugel just proved it on Twitter. They had a meeting before the show Skinwalker Ranch document uh, documentaries. He made he made the photo of that. They weren't supposed to have cameras in that room, but they had photos. And uh, as you can see here, who does that look like? That's Sean Kirkpatrick in a meeting with Brandon Fugel about Skinwalker Ranch. Hmm, little odd. I don't know, guys. Um, you want me to keep covering this? What do you guys think?